Hello again. Um, well, I'm halfway through uh, sorting out the brake system on my BMW K1100 LT. Uh, this bike is actually 25 years old this year, so it's a bit of an old classic. Um, I've had to replace the um, front handbrake piston as it was leaking, and in doing so, uh, that meant draining down the reservoir, and that would have induced, introduced a small amount of air into the brake system, which will cause, of course, um, spongy braking. Now, BMW recommend that uh, you replace the brake fluid every year, and I confess I have not done it, and it's well overdue. And uh, just to show you how bad it is, uh, this is a small amount of brake fluid that came out of the bike, um, and I'm replacing it with this. And uh, you can see one's really dark and brown, and the other one's a nice, strong, clear color. So what will we need to do? Well, uh, Starting with the front brakes, and the rear brakes are very, dis very similar. The reservoir obviously at the top here, uh, pipes feed from there down to the ABS units which are underneath the seat. Now each ABS unit also has a bleed nipple on top. The rear one is for the front brake and the front one is for the rear brake. The obvious first step is to replace the uh, brake fluid between the reservoir and the ABS unit, and at the same time, bleed out any air that might have been introduced up near the reservoir. The second step is to flush through the brake fluid from the ABS unit to the, either the front calipers or the rear calipers, depending on which brakes you're actually dealing with. So what will you need? First of all, you're gonna need some clear pipe and you will need a jam jar with a small amount of brake fluid uh, in the bottom. And the idea here is the pipe's going to sit inside the jam jar and the fluid's going to act like a non-return valve and stop air being sucked back in while you're trying to bleed the system. Okay, I'm more or less uh, set up here. So what I've done is I've topped up the reservoir, I've put the lid back on because when you squeeze up the, uh, the, the brake here, uh, fluid has a tendency to jump out the reservoir. So you put the lid back on, it's always a good idea. I've got a pipe connected to the bleed valve uh, on the front ABS unit, and that's leading down into the jam jar, and the jam jar has a little bit of um, brake fluid in it, and the pipe is dipped into that brake fluid. So the procedure is open the valve, Pull in the handbrake, close the valve, release the handbrake. My fluid's getting a little bit low now, so I'm going to top it up. That's enough. And then we're going to put the uh, lid back on again because I don't want fluid spurting out while I'm doing this. So up to the ABS unit now, it's all nice and uh, nice and clear. So I'm now onto the front caliper and I actually want to try and get as much as the fluid that's actually in the pistons back up to this bleed nipple. And the way to do that is to push back the pistons. And I'm just gonna use a screwdriver here um, and just pushing back through the top pushing the pads back, which in turn pushing the pistons back. And there we are, they're back in. Now I can start bleeding this one. And it's the same trick as uh, previously. We're going to let mill spanner again, open up the bleed nipple, about half a turn, push in, there comes the uh, fluid. Lock the bleed nipple release the handbrake. You can see how dark that uh, fluid is. So we release the nipple again, and more comes through, lock up again. And I'm waiting for that, all this fluid in here to go clear. One more just for luck. Undo the bleed valve, squeeze in, close the bleed valve, and release. 
Now, I don't know whether you can see, but actually the fluid now is absolutely crystal clear in the pipe. So this side is done. So I'm working on the second side. I've taken the rubber cover off the uh, bleed nipple. Uh, I've fitted my plastic pipe over the top. It needs to be really tight fit. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to give it a couple of pumps just to get fluid into the pipe that leads down to this caliper. And then I'm going to push back the pistons in the same way I did last time to get the fluid from the pistons back up to the bleed nipple and then finish off by uh, just clearing that out as well. Now it's slightly tricky because you're working on opposite sides of the bike now, but we're going to open up the nipple. Probably a good idea to keep the spanner on the, the nipple. There we go. Push in, close. So that's the front done. Uh, what I'm going to do now is just top off the reservoir. Uh, there's a little, uh, a little clear plastic on the right side here that I can use for a level. So there we go. Now just started protecting the um, the bodywork with cloth, and I've got a drip um, container underneath as well. You don't want to get any of this fluid. Uh, on anything. This it eats away. So I'm just going to clean up a little bit of spillage that I've got. That feels good. Really tight. Lovely. Just make absolutely certain this is all tightened down. A little bit more there, not overly tight. Just want to nip it up. Working my way around each of the screws. They're happy with that. Uh, the reservoir for the back brake is underneath the side panel, I'm taking the side panel off. And I've just pulled the reservoir out of the clip just to make it more accessible. And I'm also putting some cloth down the side of the bike just to protect it in case uh, I get any spillage. Right, I'm on the home straight now. I'm just going to do the back brake. So I have fitted my pipe and my spanner to the front ABS uh, unit, which is dealing with the back brake. And I'm going to bleed. Uh, this area first and then move to the back caliper doing exactly the same procedure as we did for the front. So I actually had a little bit of air in this one as well so and also the fluid has now become quite clear. Just going to finish off a couple of little more pumps, open the valve, push down, close the valve, release the foot brake and there we are that's done beautifully clean again. There we go. Put the lid back on. Give everything a good wipe. That's looking a lot better. Right, now I'm just going to clip this back in. In you go. There we go. That's back in. Right. Just general wipe down again. Everything's looking fine. I can reassemble that and uh, I think the job's done. Well, that's it. Job done. I think it was well worth doing actually. The uh, brake fluid looked pretty damn awful. Uh, front brake came together really nicely. Back brake actually found a little bit of air in it. So that was well worth doing as well. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, please give it a thumbs up. Leave some comments below. I always like to read the comments. Uh, and um, think about subscribing as well. I'd be very grateful if you did. And uh, anyway, that's it from me. Two, two old fogies, really. Me and the uh, this motorbike as well. Anyway, catch you on the next one. Bye for now.